Okay, so we want to make good use of your time. We know you are all busy getting ready for the exciting fall semester, um, so we will go ahead and get started. Welcome and thanks for joining us today for the library's orientation webinar. We know that you guys have been inundated with information from Candler and Emory as incoming students, and we really hope that this short session is going to answer some of the questions that you might have regarding research at Candler for your classes and beyond. Uh, my name is Anne-Marie McLean. I am one of our reference librarians and the library's outreach coordinator. And I am joined by Brady Beard, who is Pitts' reference and instruction librarian. Hi, everybody. So together today, we're going to give you the information that you'll need moving into the fall semester to really guarantee your academic success. Do keep in mind that COVID-19 has, as you might expect, changed a lot of our existing policies. So the information you hear today is going to be specific to the fall semester. We'll give you all of the places to find any updates you might need about services and policies throughout the semester later in this presentation. In the meantime, feel free to use the Q&A feature at the top for questions that you might have. Um, our reference librarians will be monitoring that throughout this session. In addition, uh, the information delivered in this session is available in the handout that is attached for you to download. And the session itself will be recorded and available for on-demand viewing following the session. So no worries if you miss anything. Moving right along, welcome to Pitt's Theology Library. Pitts is one of Emory University's six instructional libraries. It is internationally renowned for its rare book and archival holdings. For example, we have one of the largest collections of Reformation-related materials in North America. In addition, we have one of the foremost collections of Wesleyana in the world. And we have substantial holdings in hymnody, psalmody, and even more. There are also about six 130,000 books in the regular collection, which does not even include the online resources and databases, journals, ebooks, and other platforms. Luckily, all of these items that I just discussed are available to you now that you have access as a Candler student. So your borrowing privileges at Emory are pretty substantial as graduate students. Loan periods for each book you check out are 120 days, unless they are recalled by another patron. And these items can be renewed multiple times to extend that loan period beyond the 120 days. In addition, there is no limit to the number of items that can be borrowed. So you could have an item for essentially your entire career at Candler as long as nobody else wants it. This semester, there is going to be a new model for circulation and pickup services in line with the COVID-19 health guidelines. So instead of going down to the book stacks to find the item on the shelf, you'll be able to request the items online and have them waiting for you at the library entrance um, or at curbside pickup. This is much like if you're getting to-go food, but with books. Instructional videos for these new services will be shared with you in the upcoming weeks, so no worries there. One of the main points of Pitts' mission is to support the research of students at Candler School of Theology. That's you. The building itself will be available for research and studying, but with a new registration-based service model. More information on that to come. Reference services will be available at, at every stage of your research journey, from framing your research question, to finding materials, to even citing your sources at the very end of the whole process. And we're going to tell you a little bit about how to take advantage of these resources in just a minute when Brady speaks. Just like Candler, Pitts is defined by the people who work there. So while many of those people are behind the scenes making all the library magic happen, we wanted to introduce you to the faces that you will see or hear from as partners in your career at Candler. These are some folks that you might be seeing or hearing from throughout the year as you check in and out your books um, and as you monitor your library account or use course reserves or interlibrary loan. Each of these staff members that you see here has a specialty in addition to all the circulation knowledge they know. So from left to right, we have Myron McKee. He is our accounts and student hiring specialist. 
To his right is Kayla Middleton. She is our interlibrary loan specialist. She, she brings books to you that Pitts does not own for free. Next to her is Liz Miller. She is our course reserve specialist. So she is the one who is making scans of your required readings that are requested by professors and uploading them to your Canvas site online. And finally, to the right is Yasmin Green. She's our stacks manager and essentially monitors the life cycle of each book in the Pitts circulating collection. In addition to our circulation team, Pitts also has five reference librarians at your disposal for questions about your research, from citations to scanning to word studies. This team includes three full-time librarians and two PhD candidates from the Graduate Division of Religion at Emory. So left to right, you'll see Janelle Moore, who is in the GDR in the Theology and Ethics program, myself, our reference librarian and outreach coordinator, Brady Beard to my right, who is our reference instruction librarian. He has currently finished up his dissertation in Hebrew Bible. Spencer Roberts is to his right, and he is our colleague specializing in digital scholarship and U.S. history. And finally, to the far right is Chelsea Mack, who is a PhD candidate specializing in Hebrew Bible. You can always chat and email for research questions or more detailed consultations over the phone or via Zoom at this link you see here, pitts.emory.edu slash ask. That should also be linked in your handout. Um, if you want to go there, bookmark it. It will save you a lot of time in the future. So now I'm going to turn things over to my colleague, Brady, who's going to tell you a little bit more about research at Pitts. Hi, everyone. My name is Brady Beard. And as Anne-Marie mentioned, I am the reference and instruction librarian at Pitts. I'm really bummed not to be able to um, be with you all in person today, as I know Anne-Marie is. But we're really grateful that you have taken the time out of your day to join us for this webinar. I'm going to talk just a little bit about some of the uh, reference and instruction support services that we offer at Pitts, as well as go into a little more detail about where you can find information about the library and requesting the materials that you will need for your classes and your research uh, in this new journey of your academic lives. So the first thing that you should know is um, the pits.emory.edu homepage is going to be one of the most important websites that you will use this fall. So I'm going to recommend right now that you bookmark it in your favorite browser, or maybe even just make it your homepage so that every time you upload uh, or every time you uh, access the internet, this is the first page that you see. The pits.emory.edu homepage is where you will go to find the library catalog to access our research guides and to engage other online resources like journal articles or ebooks. All of the links in this PowerPoint, which can also be found in the handout um, tab in this webinar, are clickable. And so you can download this and save it to your desktop or to your folders. And you can use all of these uh, links. It'll take you right to the library catalog, for instance. The library catalog is the place where all of the books are basically stored um, on the library's website. Um, I know one thing that a lot of people like to do when they use a library is just to browse the shelves around the items that you're looking for. And the good news is, even though you can't do that in person, we do have a really awesome um, view shelf uh, feature in the library catalog that lets you see what all of the other books are around an item that you might be looking up. So you can still do that. For more information on how to use this feature, just go ahead and contact one of the reference librarians. Our research guides are best thought of as a, a sort of beginning bibliography on any subject that you might be interested in as it relates to the classes that you'll take at Candler. These research guides are curated, organized, and maintained by our reference librarians, by library staff, by uh, faculty, doctoral students, and even some master's students at Candler. And so feel free to check those out. We've got a lot of really good information in there for you. And then our online resources include all of the journal um, 
all of the journal articles, databases, index, indices that you have probably come to expect from an academic library, but we also have so much more available to you. So feel free to click on that link to the online resources and to browse a little bit. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. The instruction part of uh, what PIDS does encompasses a lot. We run uh, weekly workshops every semester. These workshops cover everything from beginning a research project to constructing the best argument you can to um, finding out what exegesis is. If you don't know, uh, you'll hear that word a lot <laughs> in this upcoming semester. And so feel free to check out these weekly workshops. Um, normally, we would hold these in person at the library, but of course, uh, due to all sorts of health guidelines, we're doing them all remotely this year on this same platform, Big Marker. And you can check out the library homepage for links to the workshops, uh, register for those. This semester, we're planning to do a workshop uh, on Research 101. So setting up a research project and seeing it through to the end. Reading for your best academic life. So how are you supposed to keep up with all of the reading that your faculty members are going to be assigning to you? Exegesis and biblical studies, learning what exegesis is and what tools are available for you. And then a new weekly workshop that I'm working on right now, which I'm really excited about. And that is about being a good consumer of information. How do we know um, what information to trust, what information to use, and how we can best use that. And so I'm really looking forward to holding these workshops with you. We also provide research consultations. As Anne-Marie mentioned, these research consultations can be everything from setting up a research project, finding a, uh, the books and articles that you need, beginning your bibliographies, to um, the very end when you're trying to figure out how to cite and what citation software to use. We are here to help support you through the whole thing. The best way to get in touch with a research librarian um, this fall is actually two ways. One, you can contact us by visiting pits.emory.edu slash ask. This will take you to our live chat feature and you can chat with a librarian in real time uh, on that site or you can visit pits.emory.edu slash appointments and a reference librarian will be available to set up a Zoom consultation with you and we can talk face-to-face, -face, albeit through a computer screen and provide some guidance for you that way as well. And then finally, as I've already mentioned, we um, manage the research guides and we are constantly re-evaluating them and updating them so that you all have the best, most relevant information uh, for the projects that you're working on. At Candler. The best way to stay informed about changes to library policies or updates to our hours or other services that we offer are to follow us on social media. This is where we post all of our updates. So if you haven't already liked us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter or Instagram, we ask that you do so now, not because we need the likes, but because this is the primary way that we communicate with you all. We know that you get lots of emails from all sorts of people at Candler, and we don't want our updates to get lost in that shuffle. So go ahead and on whichever of these three platforms you use the most, give us a follow and you'll be sure to get all of the most up-to-date information. <laughs> yeah, Anne-Marie says in the chat that we also appreciate the likes, and that's true. Um, finally, um, like I mentioned earlier, please be sure to um, bookmark the Pitts website on your own computer. Um, the Library Scholars blog is the place where we post all of the updates to our hours, to our operating procedures, and any important changes that you might need to know about. Finally, um, we Pitts Library also provides course reserves. What course reserves are, are basically that list of required and recommended readings that will be on every single one of the syllabi that you receive from your faculty members this fall. Uh, course reserves uh, pulls those items from the library stacks and we put them on short-term loan periods. This is our way of providing 
equitable access to all of the resources. We know that it doesn't always make financial sense to um, buy every single book that a faculty member tells you you need to buy. And so we are so happy to be able to put the physical items on course reserves for you or to make scans of items that your professors want you to read and have those available in your class websites. Unfortunately, because of um, health guidelines at this current moment, we cannot provide access to our physical course reserves like we usually do. But we are really rounding out and filling out our online course reserves offerings. You can access your course reserves through Canvas or through reserves.emory.edu. You will get, uh, these will update live on the day that classes begin. And so feel free to access your course readings that way. Um, we can't promise that we'll have every book available online. We'll likely have um, parts of books that you need online. So if you have any questions about what books you actually need to buy for the semester or what books are available online for you to read on your e-reader or computer, feel free to reach out and ask us. And we're happy to help you discern sort of through that whole process. But course reserves are a really wonderful uh, and really important aspect of what we do as a library. So we hope that you'll take advantage of them. We are also here to help you do your research from a distance. So even though we can't sit with you at the reference desk and work through a bibliography or talk about an idea for a paper, we are still here to provide support to you just um, from the comforts of our home offices. You can reach us online by visiting pits.emory.edu ask. The live chat for this fall semester will be available from 10 o'clock in the morning until three o'clock in the afternoon, five days a week, Monday through Friday. But we're also available by email and we answer those emails sort of around the clock. So feel free, even if there isn't a librarian on the live chat, we're still available by email. We're also happy to support your research by scanning uh, book chapters or journal articles that you might need. You can find instructions for doing this by visiting pits.emory.edu slash edd. Um, this, is, this link will take you to the page where you can put in your requests for items to be scanned, and we will do our best to get those to you within two or three days. We also are happy to offer book pickup this semester. You will find more information about book pickup and how to request books for pickup from the library at pits.emory.edu slash remote learning. Like Anne-Marie said, we sort of envision that this will be a lot like picking up to-go orders at your favorite restaurant. You'll just uh, fill out the form and tell us what you need. We'll pull it for you and have it ready to go. And you might even get a free pits bag in the process. And then finally, please review our policy updates. Like I said, we all know that we're in sort of a fluid situation and any of those updates will be found on the Library Scholars blog, pits.emory.edu slash blog. The very last thing I want to share with you all um, in our time together today is our upcoming Kessler Conversations. Every year in October, Pitt's Theology Library celebrates Reformation Day, and it's one of our favorite weekends of the year. Um, it's during this period that we get to show off our, our Reformation collection from our special collections, including two books that actually have Martin Luther's handwriting in them. Yes, that Martin Luther. And um, we're really bummed that this year we can't, we'll, we won't be able to hold our Reformation Day celebrations in person. But instead, and we're really excited about this, we'll be holding Kessler conversations through the fall of 2020. These conversations will be with leading Reformation scholars and clergy persons from around the world who will talk with us about what it was like in the 16th century um, during times of plague and disease and how pastors engaged on these topics 
500, 600 years ago with their congregations. And we hope that you'll find some key insights about what it means to pastor and to care for persons um, in this contemporary situation that we find ourselves in. You can register for this event at pitts.emory.edu slash Kessler Conversations, and we hope to see you there. Here's just a taste of a few of our speakers and the topics that they'll be talking about. Anna M. Johnson will be discussing Christian ethics in time of plague. Eric Hendricks will be talking about plagues in the Reformation era. And Ronald Ritgers will be discussing the Reformation of suffering and uh, devotion uh, in the Reformation period. We really look forward to eventually seeing you and meeting you all in person. We hope that you are all well, and we are so excited for this upcoming semester. Please reach out to us if you have any questions or concerns about the upcoming semester. If you still have lingering questions about what library services can be provided to you during the fall semester, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are here to help, and uh, we just, again, want to thank you for your time today and um, hope that the rest of orientation goes well and that you're all doing well as we gear up for this new fall semester. Best wishes to you all. Contact us at pitts.emory.edu ask if you have any questions. Thanks so much. <laughs>